Hello, Andy. Hello, Mark. How are you doing? Very well. How are you? Wonderful. Right, so, quick video here for um, the readers of my blog. I don't know if you saw this the other day, but I started talking about Cloudflare and why people should switch to that to get an SSL for free. Um, and somebody, a guy called Paul, wrote on the blog that he didn't understand how they could offer it for free, doesn't understand what it is or what it does. So he says, can you make one of your cool videos? So here I am, Paul, making a cool video with my friend Andy Jones. So everybody who doesn't know Andy Jones, he's my uh, business partner in software. He's a good friend of mine. He's an IT genius. And he's the one who recommended Cloudflare. So Andy, over to you. Right, cool. Yeah, so uh, we've been using Cloudflare for a couple of years now. Absolutely love it. It's a, a San Francisco startup, um, all really young and cool and sexy and, and absolutely love it. So. When they um, first came out, you, you didn't get SSL free. Uh, you had to pay, uh, I think it was $20 a month um, for the pro plan. Um, and they, late last year, decided to offer it across the board. Um, so just to jump to the uh, killer question, which is why is it free? And the answer is Cloudflare protects a bunch of banks, um, a bunch of really, really big customers, and, and a bunch of medium-sized customers. Essentially, their view is that everything should be secure. So what they do is uh, use the revenue from the big paying customers um, and use it for the free ones, which is uh, really nice, absolutely brilliant. Um, also, it's not necessarily totally free forever. If, you were, if your site uh, became a lot more popular, you would have to start paying. Um, but I suspect most of the people, Mark, that are on your, um, on your list probably wouldn't need to. We've never had to. Um, we we build everything from from small websites up to software for the NHS um, and everything in between. And we're yet to actually have to pay. Um, it does everything it needs. Um, we've uh, also done a bunch of stuff for some some big fast food places, and they've also had to use it. And actually, we've had a couple of issues. Um, but the really really nice thing is uh, they all got crazy involved. There was a point one weekend where they were up. Oh, oh, every hour of the weekend to help us and actually turned out it wasn't their problem at all. So got loads of time for these guys um, and that hopefully explains why it's free. So I just wanted to go through a little bit. Uh, Mark, Paul's raised some really good questions. So I thought just run through them. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, everybody hopefully now knows they need one. Um, Google loves it. Um, it's better to, essentially what it means is that every bit of traffic from you on your PC or your phone all the way through uh, to Cloudflare is, is protected, um, so which is, which is great. It actually does a bunch of cool stuff as well um, to stop tracking and things like that. So a lot of the, the things they use to, to, to track, you, uh, you know, for example, there's a big one where Verizon were tagging people's phones and selling your data of where you've been and, and what sites you've looked at to people without your knowledge, without your benefit at all. If you use SSL, it's totally impossible. So all around, it's a really, really good thing to do. Um, next big question is, uh, how does it work? Do I have to change my host, anything like that? The answer is no. Uh, sits in front of it. So the way, the only thing you have to do is change um, what's called your DNS host. So there's a system called DNS, which is um, domain name service, which takes, in Mark's case, markatwood.com. And it, and it translates that to where that data actually lives, what, where his server is. Um, normally, uh, most people would register their domain with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, for example, um, and they'd get their DNS hosted and managed with them. All you have to do is, is tell Cloudflare, I want you to look after my DNS. The domain still sits with one-on-one, -on -one and you can go in there and uh, do the renewal or anything like that. But all we're saying is, Cloudflare, you look after the DNS. What it means is they can then filter all the traffic through them and they do tons of cool stuff. Mark didn't even mention um, all the <laughs> denial of service protection. So they, and you can read about this if you're interested, um, hackers will say if they're on Cloudflare don't bother. So they do a bunch of security stuff. You do have to pay a bit more when you start to get to the, the really, really uh, high end. So um, if, if you were getting attacked attacked all the time and you were one of those um, companies that people were um, uh, doing that to, you would have to start to pay the, the bigger packages. But you know, for most websites, you wouldn't need to. Um, and if, if there was the odd attack, they're absolutely going to protect you um, from that. And what's 
more important, and this is the thing people forget with that, is uh, what you don't want when you're being denial of service um, is for your absolutely good traffic where you want people to look at your site and buy stuff from you. You want to get that through, and that's what Cloudflare does. They've, they've put a lot of time and effort into making sure that your site will carry on working. Um, so that's that. So, yeah, sorry. So you uh, all you do, is, and, and this is the bit we would do for you if you want, but essentially you go and tell Cloudflare, uh, this is my domain, this is what my website is, this is where my email is. Um, you go back to the people you registered your domain with originally, tell them you want Cloudflare to look after it, and that's pretty much it. So mm -hmm. that sits in front of it. You don't need to change your web server, and this is what you always had to do. You'd have to have somebody that could log into the web server, understand how to create what's a CSR, a certificate sign and request, which is some cryptography that's quite hard. Um, you then send that to whoever you want the certificate from. They would then validate who you are, um, and again, there's varying degrees there. Send that back. You then tie the two together, tell the web server that this is, this is who it is and this is how it's going to work. Um, and then you have to restart the server and all sorts of stuff. You, you need some fairly uh, skilled people to do that, whereas this, because it sits in front, uh, they deal with that all for you. So so we like Cloudflare then? Uh, just a bit. <laughs> yeah, there's two or three things that we use every single day, and we rave about them, and this is one of them. Uh, great guys, great product. They will continue to succeed. They're doing amazing well already. So, yeah, brilliant. and from um, from an SEO point of view, it's got to be a good thing. And 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 did you mention the speed increases in speed? I'm oh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, well, one of the other things it does is um, it, it has what's called a CDN, a content delivery network. So if you imagine Mark's website, for example, is uh, hosted somewhere in the UK, I can't remember quite where it is, but if if Mark uh, if, if Mark's got some people that want to look at his site from Australia, what normally has to happen is. They connect all the way through to the UK, and these days websites have tons of images on them, JavaScript. There's quite a lot going on when you open a website. You might have 40 downloads of things going on. Um, if that guy in Australia were to access Mark's website when he had Cloudflare on, all of the static contents, all the images, the JavaScript, all the stuff that, that, that's needed to make the site work is already sat in Australia. They've The first time someone does it, they send it all out there, and they automatically give them the local version. So it almost every time makes the site massively faster. Uh, and they do a bunch of cool stuff like minification, so they shrink all of the images and JavaScript. So they take out all the white space. So even the, even better that it's in Australia, they then minify it as well, so it's even, even more efficient. So there's a ton of cool stuff on there. That's fantastic. And uh, as the blog post says, if anybody wants to use it and do it themselves, they can go and do that. But if they want us to do it, um, we're just charging £29, which I think is a, a bargain. But it is a bargain, Mark. Hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for answering those questions. I hope, Paul, if you're watching this, I hope that's answered all your questions. If anybody else is watching this and read Paul's comment and seen this video, hopefully you now understand what it is that we're offering properly. So um, cheers, Andy. I'll see you later. No worries. Bye.